There's a drug called tranexamic acid, or TXA, which can be used to prevent excessive blood loss and possibly save thousands of lives each year, especially for women who have recently given birth. But how does this drug actually work? Well, to understand this method of acting, we need to take a closer look at how the body both forms blood clots and also how it removes them. Now, one of the first actions in the clotting of blood is the use of something called fibrin. This can create a kind of net or a web across a wound site. And once this structure has been formed, other things can stick in the net and create a barrier and use the structure of the net to form a better seal on the wound and also start the process of actually closing the wound and healing the injury as a whole. However, the body has to make sure this fibrin only forms clots in the right place. Too many clots form around the body and in certain vulnerable points could stop the blood from circulating around the body and cause far more problems than it actually solves. So, with like many body systems, the human body also has a counterbalance to fibrin. This is called plasmin. Now, plasmin operates to dissolve the strands created by the fibrin, weakening and eventually removing the clot as a whole. This prevents clots from forming where they're not needed and also removes clots slowly over time when the body has healed the underlying tissue. However, plasma can create a problem when the body has been severely wounded. Now, the larger a particular wound, the greater the flow of blood from a particular wound, the more problems the fibrin has in forming a complete net across the gap. Just like the difference between putting a net across a small stream and putting one across a waterfall. The last thing the fibrin needs at this point is the plasmin to come along and start dissolving some of the strands of the net forming across this gap. This can dramatically increase the time needed for the clot to form. In the worst case scenario, the person can result in bleeding to death. And this is where TXA comes in. TXA temporarily binds to the plasmin and prevents that plasmin from dissolving the strands created by the fibrin. This then allows fibrin to form clots over large wounds far easier than otherwise would be the case. Over time, TXA relaxes its grip on the plasmin, so once the crisis of the traumatic injury has passed, the plasmin can resume its normal function. Now, since TXA only prevents plasmin from temporarily carrying out its normal function, there are very few side effects with using it. More common but minor end, these would be things like headaches and backaches. Less common but more dangerous side effects being blood clots forming in the wrong places, leading to things like deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolisms. However, considering the numbers of lives that can be saved by reducing excessive blood loss, the benefits far outweigh the risk involved, especially as TXA is cheap, easy to use, and also doesn't require to be it being stored in a refrigerator, but can be used extensively in developing countries.